Hi, my name is Nasa O'Connor and I'm the International Manager for the College of Science, Engineering and Food Science here at University College Cork. And today I'm delighted to be joined with Dr. Pat Muir, who is going to give us a bit more information about the Masters in Applied Environmental Geosciences. So Pat, thanks a million for joining us today, really appreciate it. Uh, I'm welcome. going to kick off with uh, quite an easy question, um, just to start things off. So what makes your programme unique? I think the thing that makes our MSc program unique is the link that we have to industry. It's a very hands-on program. We've got strong links with industry. Uh, we've got an advisory panel that help us develop the curriculum, uh, industry panel. And then, you know, a significant chunk of the program requires students going out into work placement as part of their project. So if there's one thing I would say, it's definitely our links to industry. Wonderful. And just actually that follows on quite well to my next question is really just, can you give me some examples of the industries that graduates work in and the type of jobs or job titles that they work in? Yeah, so there's, at, at the moment, I suppose the consultancy, the environmental consultancy in the broadest sense is probably the area that we, we focus on. And that includes things like hydrogeology, engineering geology, geotechnical um, land contamination. Um, also, there are some areas in marine, we've got a, a module that deals with marine geology. And so there are some offshore applications and, and industries related to that. But it's very much, um, and it's, a, by the way, it's an area that in terms of, of uh, employee demand, it's huge at the moment. It's, it's, it's very, very uh, buoyant. Um, those industries are, would be the, are the main areas that, we, that our graduates would end up working in. Perfect. And look, I suppose really hydrogeology is, is, the, is the future really of geology. I mean, water shortages are going to be a huge problem in the future globally for different societies. So it's amazing to have that aspect as part of the masters as well. And another question, uh, Pat, that I get asked a lot by students is obviously fieldwork is quite an integral part of geological sciences. You know, what yeah. kind of fieldwork is involved in the masters? Well, I think it's fair to say pretty much most if not all of the modules have some aspect of field work it is a Great. very very hands-on vocational masters we're not there you know pontificating and giving lectures we're there to get people trained into the skills they need for this type of, of work and a lot of that is quite often field-based so we'll have hydrogeology uh, field work and John Weatherall the, the the coordinator takes people to locally and to the Irish Midlands I do the uh, help with the engineering geology module and yeah. we have a field course here in the in the south, just in in, in South Cork and on the coast, and looking at fracture systems and, and all the rest of it, and mapping those out and, and doing some data analysis. The environmental geology will be interested to hear. They have a field course or field work in a local distillery, which is really cool, <laughs> which is always interesting, looking at water quality and, and that whole side of things. So I would say most modules um, have some aspect of field work. It is an essential learning environment for, for this particular master's. No, and it's so important to develop those practical hands-on skills so that you are as attractive to the industry and the companies that you're trying to apply for. You can literally showcase that you have that experience. Um, I suppose it leads me nicely then to the industry side of things. And it's a hugely attractive part of the master's, in my opinion, is obviously the five month, I think it's five month work placement, uh, paid placement. So can you give me some examples of maybe what people have done in the last two years and what they ended up working in? Well, it actually, it reflects very closely to what I've just said in terms of the, the kind of the various sectors that, we, yeah. that we're looking towards. So I'll give you, you know, I'll run through, let's take last year's as a good example. And yeah. off the top of my head, we had one guy doing um, a hydrogeology modeling um, project. We had um, a student and she was working on coastal change and coastal geomorphology. We had yeah. another, we had two students who, by the way, were part-time students. They were, they were working and taking the program in, in, in a part-time basis. They were working on geotechnical, um, geotechnical projects, looking at a local road extension and the geotechnical uh, aspects of that in terms of, of um, slope stability related to that excavation. We had another uh, student and she actually was working with the National TELUS data set, looking at ge uh, geochemistry and looking and tying uh, soil geochemistry into geophysical surveys and that was at a national level because we've got good strong we've got strong links with the geological survey of ireland and we have yeah. partnerships with those we've got another student and she was working on soil chemistry and in terms of contaminated land uh, okay. and that was an actual industry project based in dublin 
um, and an industry partner was working on this particular um, soil survey work and, and needed some help. So again, applied geotechnical and, and we have one or two marine, I should have I forgot okay. to mention, obviously marine projects as well. Actually, I tell a lie, we had three marine projects last <laughs> year. So, you know, it's quite incredibly a broad. Way, very broad and pitched to people's interests. And the great thing is in the first part and part one of the masters, you try out all these modules, you'll get a sense of what you like, what, what, you, what appeals to you. And then you yeah. can pick that up as a project and, and partner up with one of our partners uh, for the second part of the, of the masters. No, and that's, uh, I suppose, I think I can kind of probably predict the answer to the next question, which is probably going to be maybe lying within the research or the industry, but what is the, what is your students favorite part of the program? I actually, we, we had a little survey recently about that and, and it, yeah. it varies quite a lot because, and I, and I made it a little bit more personal um, and what, what was it? Okay, the module content, people like that. They, 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 they like the fact that there's a huge range that you're, you're not over specializing, that you're covering quite a few bases for, for, the, for the industry sector, for the consultancy sector. But what they liked, um, they liked um, the environment, the kind of the learning environment. They found yeah. staff friendly, approachable, um, very, very, you know, um, inclusive and, 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 you know, easy to work with. It, they, they weren't intimidated at all by the, by the learning environment. They liked the hands-on practical aspects of, of, of the training. There are very few informal exams. Most of the assessment, yeah. is continuous assessment based on practical work. A lot okay, of students and, really like that. And I suppose as a former student and considering you're one of my former supervisors, I think I can uh, attest that <laughs> you're quite approachable and easy to deal with. <laughs> so look, Pat, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. And I think we've got a lot of great information, particularly how hands-on and practical the course is preparing you for the workforce, a huge opportunity with the placement as well, which not a lot of masters offer. And also the fact that students can really play to their strengths and drive into that area that they're really interested in, do their work placement and pursue their career from there after getting the initial exposure and the module. So look, anyone interested, uh, you know, both Pat or I or a number of different staff are happy to give you any further advice. So please do get in touch. Uh, we're happy to help in any way we can. So thanks a million, Pat. Not at all, happy to talk to you. <laughs>